Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. It's not going to be quick, I guarantee it, because it's getting hot out and uh, it's supposed to be like 92 today and it's, whoo, it's getting toasty. So, I wanted to make this episode though for all of you that are battling the dreaded Japanese beetle. We don't have any props here, unfortunately, because we don't have Japanese beetles. We're not battling them. Um, and we, have, we have other pests and stuff that we've done videos on and we're able to show the pests in the videos but it's a little difficult to show if you don't have them. So um, I thought I basically would cover some stuff that you can use and hopefully it's still going to help um, because we get asked all the time, you know, my plants are being plagued by Japanese beetles. They're just plagued um, and what can I do? So it's generally like fruit trees and grapevines that are the first to go, but they'll also ta attack things. I mean, I've even seen them on uh, potato plants. I've seen them on pepper plants. Um, I've seen them on basil even. So, uh, you know, it's something that a lot of people have written in about, and I wanted to get this video out because I think it's going to really help. The first way that you can get rid of them is by hand control. Hand control is by far the most effective way, and all you simply have to do is take a large pan, fill it with about an inch of cooking oil. Cooking oil uh, or some type of cheap oil that's not a really, like, environmentally hazardous type of oil. So don't use like car oil or motor oil, but use like a, like a canola oil or something like that, a corn oil, and put that into the pan about an inch thick. And what that's going to do is it's going to create an, like an oil bed that you can walk along your plants and simply take and smack them down really quickly and the, the beetles will fall into that oil. They will die almost immediately. They cannot survive in the oil and it's, and it's not going to be like water. You can't do it with water because they'll simply float on the water. Um, it just won't work. So the oil is a very simple way to do it. You just walk around and smack them in and it's, it's so effective. And so hand removal is by far the best and the easiest and most effective to be honest. But I do want to go through some others because there are people that you know don't want to do that or don't like doing that. The next thing that works really well I find is by buying Japanese beetle lures. And you use them in a way that you would not normally expect or is, I guess, directed by the company that makes these. Uh, the company that makes these lures is Bonide, and they make a beetle bagger replacement lure. Now, for those of you that have seen those yellow bags that say beetle bagger on them, uh, that's actually a product that Bonide puts out, and it goes with the lures. I find that they are, number one, way too expensive, and number two, don't do much good in the garden. Because what happens is people oftentimes put them by the garden, and instead of having like 30, 40 beetles in your garden, you now have hundreds of beetles in the garden because they're honed into that lure. So I don't like that at all. And what I do is I actually take these lures here and I will take them about 300, 400 feet away from the garden, far enough away that it'll take the beetles way away from the garden and they'll hopefully find some other plant or just enjoy the lures. Um, <laughs> and not too, you know, not too close that the, that the beetles are honed into the garden as well. And I'll take these and they, uh, they, come, they come in uh, just one, one per pack. I'll take three of them and I will take them way away. You can get them, for, I think, for like $2.50 or $3, something like that. Um, and I will, uh, I'll link to where you can find them in the, in the comments box or the description box below if you're interested. Um, and I take three of them. They last all season long too, which is nice. And I will take them, like I said, about 300, 400, 500 feet away and that simply works. It has chemicals, pheromones of the, the beetles in there. And it actually also has the, the scent of flowers that they really like, chemical scent put into here. So it's not organic. Or I don't think it's organic at least. And um, it actually will attract the, the beetles from, from miles over to that scent and not to the scent of your plants. So it's very effective in that sense as well. Um, and, uh, and I've used it with great success, um, especially not here because we don't have any beetles here, but uh, back at the old house, we were just plagued. Our, our fruit trees were eaten alive, our grapevines were eaten alive, uh, even our ornamental plants were just eaten alive. So we, we started using these and we took them way away and the beetles went way away. It was crazy how well it worked. Now the next one that works very well is, we've talked about this before, diatomaceous earth. Japanese beetles are a hard bodied beetle and diatomaceous earth works to kill hard-bodied beetles. It does harm uh, some of your beneficial insects like ladybugs, I understand, but it does not hurt any of the other things like earthworms and stuff. So if you're having a real big problem with Japanese beetles, 
Diatomaceous earth absolutely will work. And that is the third and final method that will work uh, to really take away the beetles. I do have one more method for you that I don't have in front of me, and that is called milky spore. Milky spore is a type of beneficial fungus that actually attacks the larva stage of the Japanese beetle. And you can find it online. I'll post a link to where you can find it. Um, I, I'm guessing you can probably find it on Amazon. Um, Lowe's might even have it. Home Depot might even have it. Um, I'm not sure because I have not actively looked for it, but I do know milky spore is extremely effective. You apply it on your lawn, and what it does is the, the milky spore goes into the soil, and it will actually attack the grubs, much like BT attacks the, the chewing caterpillars and stuff. It will actually attack the larva stage of the Japanese beetle and prevent them from ever becoming beetles. So the, the milky spore does not kill the actual beetles themselves. And I know a lot of people have said, I've applied, I've applied milky spore to my, to my beetles and they're not dying. That's why. It's not meant for the, the actual adult, the adult beetles. It's meant for the young larvae in the ground. So you want to apply it in the fall or early spring when they're still in their larva stage before they hatch and fly away and plague your garden. And it'll work, I promise. All right, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you will try these methods. If you've tried any of them, let me know in the comments box below how reliable they've been for you. And I'll catch you all later. I'm gonna go enjoy some lunch and get something to drink because it's getting hot out here. All right, see ya. Bye.